Edition. While it's still in TV Weekend Edition, I'm Andrew Chamagiro with Susan Mujawan and now keeping track of the number of our health workers who have protested this year or threatened to protest over their working conditions and salaries have been hard. Currently, the medical lab technicians and the intern graduate nurses are on the strike. Now to help us to understand this and more of these issues, we have a sister Anit Bironji from the Uganda Nurses and Midwives Association or Union. Good evening and Happy New Year, Bironji. Good evening, how are you? Um, for starters, I want to understand all these strikes going on. What, what is going on in the, in the medical practice? We, we just want to understand it as a country. Uh, once again, I'm Birunji Anet. I'm a national treasurer, Uganda Nurses and Midwives Union. Yes. Uh, for me, uh, as a person, I would like to first wish happen here to the nurses and midwives who are on duty. Mm -hmm. Before I even talk to you about what is happening, mm. I know the nurses and midwives are on duty right now, mm. and we are working, mm. but we announced strike. We announced a strike mm. 2020, mm. which has started today. We are supposed to strike if the government if the government doesn't listen to the disputes that we have right now. Mm. Uh, in 2020, in 2017. Mm. We there was a strike. I think you remember. Uh, no, let's let, let's go workers. back a little bit back. In yes. 2010, there was a negotiation where you started negotiating. Yes, we started negotiating. Then we came to 2018. There was an agreement. There was an agreement. Uh -huh. The collective bargaining agreement, which we agreed mm -hmm. as trade union, as trade unions in the country for mm -hmm. all public service unions, mm -hmm. the workers under public service mm -hmm. and public service. Mm -hmm. So this document. We signed it. It was supposed to cover the salaries mm -hmm. uh, in, in phases, mm. like selective. Okay. Because they were saying that uh, since the government does not have the money, uh -huh. can we go on table and negotiate and we see how we can enhance the workers of Uganda so that these strikes stop. Uh -huh. But what has now made us to get shock of our mind actually mm. is that the government has announced uh, salaries mm. the, like the Minister of Health you had mm -hmm. la, la, la previous days she said uh, the, the salaries will be enhanced the size for health workers mm. will be enhanced yes. and she she talked about that when there was already a strike for intern nurses yeah. Then the minister of ICT, Honorary Omosi, released a document which showed disparities in, in, uh, in salaries. Mm. In salaries, yes. Mm. Uh, for the nurses, the president had earlier uh, issued a, a, a directive mm. that the nurses and doctor interns, who the, the interns and, and uh, the interns of nurses and doctors. Mm -hmm who were striking would be given salaries, the, the, the salary of the working doctor mm -hmm. will be, the salary of intern doctor, will, the salary of intern doctor will be half of the working doctor. Mm -hmm. and, that, and he increased the, the salaries to five million for the, the working doctor. Yes, of the working doctor. And that means the intern yes. gets 2.5. Yes, so mm. for us who were behind as a unions, we expected that apply to the nurses. Mm. When you look at that document, 2022, 2020, 2023, mm -hmm. the salaries are supposed to be enhanced, mm. and a nurse, a graduate nurse, is supposed to get 4.8. Mm. And they have already implemented for the doctors. They gave the the, the intern the doctor, doctor yes, mm. they gave the intern doctor 2.5. Mm. And when it came to the nurse, they now enhanced. Uh, they gave uh, half mm. of three million. Uh, then uh, they gave 1.5. Uh -huh. So that one made us an, uh, analyze it and say, it seems government actually looks at people who strike. For us who are so patiently waiting. Is, is more feasible is than solution, negotiations. Yes. Because right now, for us, we are patiently waiting for this document to be implemented. Mm. We know that he, in 2018, mm -hmm. it was 
given the way we agreed uh -huh. when you look at that document. Yeah. In 2019, in 2020, 2021, there was nothing in mm. us. And mm. we understand the economy was down, mm. but we expected now the government to, right now actually what we are expecting and what we are requesting government, mm. to call the unions, the 10 public service unions, mm. sit on table, mm -hmm. and so that we know how much but we are But have you failed to get. other avenues with the government? Are other talks, have they failed? I, I think we have failed because for us, mm. last, last month, Mm. Uh, two like two months ago, when the doctors were striking, mm. were announcing strike, we went to we, we we came to know that there is a cabinet minister which uh, okay the, the cabinet sat and mm. agreed to pay doctors five million. Mm. So we rushed to public service. We mm. met the public service minister and we asked him, what is the fate of the nurses? Mm. Do you have any document where you discussed that? Now since the the doctor in U five is going to get five million. The, the nurse in U5 will get this, and the diplomas follow. Mm. We also wanted to know whether the document will be actually implemented fully because it was As for five doctors. years. Yes, mm. Mm. it was for five years, and they have started now implementing it mm. at the end. And it because, of, because of time, mm. what's the way forward on this? Is the this strike forward, on? Have you started the strike? The way forward is mm. we would like government, actually, the Public Service Negotiation Machinery Act. Mm. to work right now. Okay. The chairman is not there, mm -hmm. uh, he retired, but we would like uh, now f uh, the public service to quickly call the trade unions in the country mm. and we discuss these matters. For me, I see if this document is implemented, mm. then there will be no strikes because the document actually is addressing all the health workers what in categories, some, what, what, what including are some, What are some of the excerpts of this document, uh, or, or, or in this document, that address the issue of the nurses and the lab technicians yes, and all that? Yes, it looks at all those categories, mm. and it gives you a, a solution for these strikes. Because mm. if people are negotiating with the government, mm. the people will not quarrel. And they will be. It is us. It is a represent. It is the responsibility of trade unions mm. to talk to the workers of Uganda, mm -hmm. and by uh, by uh, by the by by the law, mm. the, 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 the 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 trade unions are gazetted mm. to negotiate for these salaries in mm. the statutory instrument number ten mm. of 2011. We are supposed to negotiate for the welfare. But when we hear government negotiating with associations coming up with payments like that, ignoring the documents of which we have already signed with mm. government, we feel embarrassed. Do you feel government is, is, is a double standard kind of uh, what entity I, in this what, regard? What I can say, mm. and this has always been said, that we have very good rules, mm. but they are not implemented. They are in shadows sometimes. So the strike it will need, help us to, to bring it to light? Yes, the, the strike. Mm. We are now analyzing the situation. We are seeing that if we come out and shout, maybe like how the doctors did, we mm. will also be called. <laughs> and that's not what we want. We actually want to negotiate. Mm. We, we, we still give uh, a lot of respect to mm. public service mm. because uh, they came up with a very good document mm. for five years. And we would like the government to sign it and complete it. Right now, mm. it is halfway. And we, we thought, since they implemented the way it was mm. in, in 2018, phases. yes, mm. maybe 2022, 2023, it would mm. be like that. M maybe, Anit, the, the, the government and the powers that be don't understand how critical and crucial the nurses and the lab technicians are in the health sector. How crucial are these two? I, I can just give an example of nurses. Mm. Right now we are doing a vaccination and I actually t want to tell the, the public to mm. go for vaccination yeah. because this Omicron is very fast. Mm. I, if, if someone is infected right now, mm. you find that the whole room is infected. Mm. With all people get uh, the infection. I don't know whether if it is even following the, the if we if the social distance is working. Is because working people anyway. are really getting the disease very fast. Mm. So if the nurses are to be uh, happy mm. in this 2020, we would like equity to be prevailed, mm. justice, to, to remove all those salary disparities. You cannot have a doctor to get five million in the same scale, mm. then the nurse gets two million. And yet in the health sector, I've been saying it, I, I, I want even to repeat it, mm. the health workforce. Mm. Seventy percent are the nurses and midwives. We cannot work alone without lab people. You see, the lab 
mm. the dental people and the anesthetist, they are all in that in that document that I'm mm. talking about. It is a solution. Mm. If the government is accepting that by law or the, the, the act exists, mm. then they should look at how do we follow the laws. Mm. Why do you have to, 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 to say that now I will discuss with the people who are striking like how they called in terms you yeah. saw and the and, doctors and then they called doctors mm. so other people the lab people are also saying let us come so is public service working anyway mm. that is what we are looking so, at um, as trade unions we are disappointed actually when so, we see so, government so, negotiating so, and coming up with documents when they sit with mm. with the uh, after sitting with association mm. when the gazetted unions to which are supposed to negotiate are there and they are well known for purposes of planning as, as a country, so is the strike on I could have a sister who is pregnant or, or, or a mother who is pregnant or a wife who is pregnant, has your strike started of the midwives and nurses and if it's going to run for how long is it going to No, run? for us we usually actually plan. Okay. We tell government in time, mm. we follow the law, mm -hmm. 90 days. We, when you we allotted wait, them 90 yes, days ago. We are supposed to submit the, the another document mm. uh, to the to public service. Talk, talking, in fact, in this week, mm. talking about uh, how we are going to strike. Okay. Uh, so, but sometimes we we create awareness. Like right now, I'm <laughs> telling the government that please listen to the nurses and midwives of Uganda because we we play a very key mm. role in health sector. Well, that is the sister Annette Bironji from the Ugandan Nurses and Midwives Union in Uganda. Government